Hello people, in this video we take up some questions on conversion of number systems which have been asked recently in the gate examination that is maybe in the last 10 years. Let us look at the first question. We are given that the number system is of base R, the radix is R and we are asked that for what values of R is this equation going to be true. Okay, so one thing that this question teaches us is generally questions test thing this question is going to teach us something this, which is don't rush for the answer we've already learned you already know that root 121 is 11 in base 10 in decimal system and see see the intelligence of the people who are making the question paper they've given option a itself is decimal 10 don't rush for the answers right don't rush to tick the answers maybe in hurry you take answer a and end up getting negative marks just look at the procedure of solving this suppose 121 we've given that 121 is a number in base r just uh, convert it into decimal the procedure is you multiply with the weights of the bits so you get r square plus 2r plus 1 which you can write as r plus 1 whole square ok r square plus 1 plus 2 r can be written as r plus 1 whole square so under root 121 in base r can be written as under root r plus 1 whole square fine so this root and square cancel and you get r plus 1 in base 10 now just look at the RHS, the RHS is 11 in base R which also can be written as R plus 1 in base 10. So you see the LHS of this equation and RHS of this equation are always going to be same for all the values of R. Whatever be the value of R, this LHS and RHS are going to be same. But one thing that we can note here is, what cannot be the value of R? Since you are using 1 and 2 as valid symbols in this number system, 2 cannot be the base of this number system. The base must be greater than 2. So, what is the answer going to be? Any value greater than 2 is going to be the correct option. Okay, look at the next question now, which was asked in 2014 for 1 mark. What are they asking is that what could be the valid base for which this equation would hold valid, which for which this equation would be true. Okay, uh, you all can see that this equation is not true for decimal number system, right? For decimal number system, the answer must have been 15.6, but you can clearly see the answer is 13.1. So, we have to find the base of the number system. Okay, to solve this, what I am going to do is, I am cross multiplying. Okay, in the same base, let the base be R. So, I have multiplied these numbers. Okay, now I am converting all these numbers in decimal number system in base 10. So, what can I write this number as? I can write it at 3R square plus R plus 2 is equal to 2r plus 0 into r plus 3 plus r to the power minus 1. Okay, we've already seen this, right? When a number is after the decimal point, after the binary point, you multiply it with the weight of r to the power minus 1. Fine, uh, just multiply these terms, you get 2r square plus 6r plus 2. Since now you have converted these uh, into decimal numbers, you can multiply them as normal mathematical calculations that you do. LHS remains the same. Rearrange these terms to make a single quadratic equation. You get r square minus 5r is equal to 0. So what values are you getting for x? You get r as 0 and 5. Since 0 cannot be a valid base of number system so we discard this value and we get the answer as 5 you can check this answer also convert all these numbers into uh, decimal using the base 5 so 312 if you take this number as a number in 
base 5 you get it as 3 into 25 plus 5 plus 2 which is 82 20 in base 5 would be 10 plus 0 which is 10 and 13.1 would be 5 plus 3 plus 5 to the power minus 1 which is 8.2 and also 82 by 10 is going to be 8.2 so the answer is correct which would be 5 ok look at the next question which was also asked in 2014 in some different set uh, this question says that 123 in a number system with base 5 is equal to x8 in base y and it's asking for the number of possible solutions just convert both these numbers into decimal 123 with base 5 in decimal would be 5 square plus 2 into 5 plus 3 which is 38 convert the RHS also into decimal you get XY plus 8 ok cool so now what you are getting is XY plus 8 must be equal to 38 which gives XY should be 30 so we have got two variables x and y x and y are unknown and it's asking for the number of possible solutions just look at what uh, can be the possible values for x and y if x is 1 y can be 30 if this is 2 this can be 15 3 and 10 5 and 6 then you get 6 and 5 10 and uh, 3 15 and 2 30 and 1 so these are the number of possible solutions for x and y but uh, as we all know all of these cannot be the answers why are uh, these not all of these are not the possible solutions see because if y is 30 x can be 1 so this is possible because the digits in the number cannot be bigger than the base of the number system right so if y is 15 x can be 2 so this is possible what I mean to say is y must always be greater than x y cannot be less than x right we know this the base of the number system must be greater than every possible symbol every possible digit used in that number system so for all valid representations y must be greater than x in all solutions y must be greater than x so we can only take the solutions in which y is greater than x which is 1 and 30 2 and 15 3 and 10 and 5 and 6 right and all these solutions in which x is greater than y these are not valid you know the reason right so what are the number of possible solutions we've got four possible solutions so the answer is going to be four look at one more question from uh, gate 2009 so what are they given what have they given they have given a number in octal number system and they are asking for its equivalent in hexadecimal or maybe in decimal uh, you remember one thing we have learned that if this is one number and I2 is another number in base R2 and if R2 is greater than R1 then I2 is going to be less than I1 we have also seen an example for this thing if the base of a number increases the magnitude of the number is going to decrease here see the base of the given number system is 8 and if you are going to convert it into a number system with base 10 maybe this number must have decreased this should have become something less than 1217 but the option in the option they have given it as 2297 which is not possible so C cannot be the answer similarly 1217 cannot be the answer so you have to check between these two options and 
to convert a number from octal to hexadecimal you know what to do you first convert this number into a binary number to convert it into binary represent each bit with three binary equivalent bits one can be represented as 001 010 001 and 111 so this is the binary representation now to convert it into hexadecimal you start with the lsb and make groups of 4 1111 is f this is 8 this is 2 and this is going to be 0 even if you append three zeros more it's going to be zero so the correct option would be b okay look at the next question you are given that this equation for 4 3 in base x and y 3 in base 8 are equal and x and y are unknown so they are asking for the number of possible solutions just convert both these numbers into base 10 into decimal When you convert this four three base x into ten, it's going to be four x plus three. When you convert y three base eight, the this is in base ten into base ten. This is going to be eight y plus three in base ten. Now I'm going to equate them. So four x plus three is going to be equal to eight y plus three. So what we get from them is x must be equal to 2y. Okay, so now you know how many possible solutions are there? How many valid values of x and y are going to be there? There can be infinite number of values, right? If you take x is equal to 1, y is going to be 0.5. Though 0.5 is not a valid base, but that's a different value. we just talking about the values of x and y if you take x as 2 y is going to be 1 so there are going to be infinite number of solutions but what is going to put a restriction here is the possible values of y the possible values of y are only from 0 to 7 since 8 is the base of this number system y can only take values from 0 to 7 fine so uh, i'm just going to make a table Y can be zero, which brings x to be zero. Y can be one, which makes x to be two. If y is two, x is four, three, six, four, eight, five, ten. I'm continuing it here. If y is six, x is going to be twelve. And y is seven. X is going to be fourteen. Y cannot take values more than seven since the base is eight. And we all know that in a number system with base r, only digits possible are from zero to r minus one in a conventional way, right? So now these are the eight possible solutions. But also there is some restriction on x. X must be greater than four. X cannot take values equal to Or less than four for the same logic. So these three values are not valid. But x can take values a six, eight, ten, twelve, or fourteen, and y can also take values three, four, five, six, and seven. So these are the five valid solutions. So the number of possible solutions would be five. Okay, uh, let's just look at the last question from this set. This was asked in two thousand seventeen. in gate examination for one mark what are they saying is uh, unsigned integer unsigned integer are the ones that we have learned till now okay so the unsigned integer x x in hexadecimal number system was bc a9 this is the representation in hexadecimal and they are asking for the representation of the same number in octal number system so you know the procedure right of how we go we convert this into binary first and from there we convert it into octal okay so b b means 11 11 has the binary representation as c c is 12 12 is can be represented as 10 can be represented as and finally 9 you can write as 
so this is going to be the binary representation of the given hexadecimal number now you have to convert it into octal number system to convert into octal we start making groups of 3 starting from the LSB 001 is 1 101 is 5 010 is 2 110 is 6 011 is 3 and since we have one digit left I am appending two zeros this becomes one so the answer is going to be 136251 this is the representation in octal number system so the answer is going to be option D